and welcome back big tesla news so elon musk has been saying that he could build an a competitor iphone or a competitor google phone or android phone if they block twitter there's been a lot of rumors lately um this has been crazy so it's not the first time i've seen rumors about a tesla phone there's been rumors about a tesla phone for a while specifically a tesla pi phone tesla pi phone there's been rumors for a while and there's been plenty of renders there's been rumors for over five years seriously there has been rumors for over five years it doesn't seem it, it, it never really seemed realistic because polestar was sorry because <laughs> i can't believe i said polestar because tesla and elon musk was so focused on on tesla they were so focused on making sure tesla ramp up tesla goes big um tesla production hits new milestone new levels so focused on tesla now that there's a situation with with elon musk and and obviously um twitter he owns twitter i have to say i do subscribe to twitter blue and that's specifically because it it helps out the channel seriously um, since I've been using Twitter Blue, I've noticed that my engagement has risen up a little bit, or maybe I'm just tweeting better, but I've noticed some increase on my engagement, which is good. But yeah, it's seeming more and more realistic. So this was a tweet, um, probably probably quite recent, where some someone named Liz Wheeler says, if Google and Apple boot Twitter from their app store, there has been rumors. There's been rumors because... Nobody likes the fact that Twitter is now a free speech platform. Isn't that odd? We've been told our entire life, you have, spe you have free speech. You have free speech. Now that Elon Musk is trying to prove that um, Twitter should be a free speech platform, everyone is like, no, no, no to free speech. I thought we had free speech. Where did that go? Excuse me. But seriously, where did that go? You know what I mean. Since we were kids, we've been taught that we have free speech. But now we're learning that we don't have free speech. If we had free speech, anyone would be able to say whatever they want. <laughs> but we can't. Um, we don't live in that world because, yeah, yeah, we, we, we don't really have free speech. There are certain things that can't be said. You get in trouble. And that's, that's not free speech. <laughs> that's... You're free to say whatever you want, but there is serious consequences like Twitter getting banned on Apple and on Google phones. Wild. The thing about it as well is that um, if I was Apple and Google, I wouldn't want to compete against Elon Musk. This is the one business person you will never survive if you compete against this guy. Because if this guy turned to round two bankrupt companies and made them some of the most successful companies in the world, don't you think that you shouldn't mess with this guy? SpaceX, um, Tesla was going bankrupt, bro. He almost sold Tesla to Apple, and he almost lost SpaceX, because if he didn't get that contract from, from, from NASA for a billion, he could have lost SpaceX. Bro, you do not want to compete against this guy. He really is determined to accomplish his goals. And I don't really understand his goals with Twitter um, because Elon Musk has always done things for the good, good of humanity. But I don't I don't see how obviously Twitter is a private company now. But if something happens to Elon, then someone would just change everything about Twitter once again. So I don't know what this accomplished long, long term. I know what accomplished short term, short term. It tries to fix um, free speech. But long term, does it accomplish much? I, I still don't know, but I, I like the new direction of Twitter. I do. I like the fact that Twitter completely ruined Clubhouse in a matter of months. <laughs> so Clubhouse came out with a cool app. They came out with a cool app and Twitter just took the feature. Just like every other social platform does, they just steal other ideas and no one is using Clubhouse anymore. Elon could have bought Clubhouse he bought Twitter. <laughs> the company who stole the idea from Clubhouse, Twitter calls it Twitter Spaces. Are actually pretty cool. Listen, it's it's wild. 
But yeah, this person just tweeted at Elon, just saying half the country would happily ditch, bias, snoop an iPhone and Android. The man built rockets to Mars, a silly little smartphone should easily a silly little smartphone should be easy, right? Um, I would I would suggest he buy a current company who makes smartphone and then he just change the name and create the create bro if Elon makes if Elon makes a phone, understand he already has the software. It's the Tesla software. All of that software is going into your phone. All those customers who bought Tesla, a lot of them are going to buy an iPhone. Sorry, a lot of them are going to buy a Tesla phone. That Tesla software would just go over to the Tesla phone. It would, it would be cohesive. It would be co. This would be dangerous for Apple, because after he makes a smartphone, he's coming for everything. Once he has the, the platform, the user base, he's gonna. He's gonna sell them more stuff to you to, to the user base. Laptops, um, <laughs> tablets. It goes all the way. If if this man creates a smartphone, it is gonna be dangerous for Apple and for Google, bro. I swear, it's gonna be dangerous, a real real danger because he already has the software. He's got the engineers. He's got the software. It's all about having a few years. To um, obviously redesign a new a new system for smartphones, but it will be the same software just on a smartphone, working cohesive with your Tesla vehicle. Bro, I'm telling you, danger! Now I want Apple to ban to ban Twitter. I want Apple and Google to ban Twitter, just so we can get the get the Elon Musk phone. We need that. We need it because Google <clears throat> and Samsung, they're not competing against Apple. They're just competing against other smartphone, other Android phone com com competitors. They're not competing against Apple. Apple has a very specific audience and those audience, they don't rarely go to Android phones. They don't migrate back to Android phones. They stay in the Apple ecosystem. Google and Samsung, they're losing customers daily. To Apple. Daily. Daily. So this is very dangerous. For a long time, I wanted a real competitor to compete against Apple. Someone who's serious. Someone who's who's not afraid of Apple. I always wanted Samsung to create their own software to compete against Apple and Google. Their own software, their own ecosystem. But they're too scared. This is the man who could create their own ecosystem to compete against Apple. And I really want it. Listen, we got a mission. We got a mission. Everyone here at Monument, we have to get Apple and Google to ban Twitter. I can use Twitter on my on my on my web. I can use it, <laughs> but we need them to ban the app because we need Elon Musk to, to build a phone. Trust me, if this guy builds a phone, holy crap! Holy crap. The next 10, 15, 20 years are going to be wild. 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 <laughs> We're talking about, you know, the, the, the Solana phone, the blockchain phone? Elon would compete against that as well. Bro, if Elon builds a phone, Apple is. They're in a difficult situation. That's what I'll say. <laughs> But this was his tweet. This was his response. I certainly hope it does come to that. Does come to that. No, no, no. I was, I was talking about myself. I was, I was like, <laughs> he says, I certainly hope it does not come to that. But yes, if there is no other choice, I will make an alternative phone. This was uh, 25th of November. Uh, that's why today's the 27th. I'm not even editing this video. I'm just going to upload it straight away. Straight away. <laughs> Listen, thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in our next video. Peace.